I, when I first arrived, I, I was in my position back in New Zealand. Uh, I needed to go to Mike and Dubai before. Uh, so I hadn't really done the, the, the nine to five day jobs um, for a long time, actually. Well, when I first arrived, I, I was a music, musician back in New Zealand, and as I sent to Dubai, Dubai before, um, so I hadn't really done the, the, the nine to five day jobs um, for a long time, actually. Uh, but obviously, when you move somewhere and money's tight, you take whatever job you can get. So uh, the first job I got was polishing aluminium bull bars, and it was a terrible job, to be honest. Um, I'd come out looking like someone had dunked me in a chimney. Um, so that was my first job for, oh, it wouldn't have been long, it would have been a few months. Um, but um, you, you know, you do whatever you've got to do when you move somewhere. You need to pay that rent and stuff, so it was fine. Well, when I came, my children were only little, and my husband had a job to go to, so he went to the abattoirs. I didn't have to work as such. I would just wasn't me, my mummy self, and trying to be a young mum and a, a good partner to my husband and basically I think I just stayed into that and for m myself to grow I decided I'd do the children the tokapahaka and that kept me real and kept me occupied until all my kids grew. Once they grew, I've got six children, I was going to their school and the gardener there said to me, do you want my job? And I said, no. <laughs> she said, no, you come and have my job. And then well, I ended up being the gardener and I've been there for six years. My first job was working for a property maintenance company. And that, that was fine, I was account manager for there. It was a glorified painting company really, but I owe a lot to them because I did my trade in that with them as well and they were originally Australia based so I worked over here as an account manager for a painting company and then they evolved to a property maintenance company and then from there I actually moved into recruitment because my wife at the time was was in recruitment and she again is who you know and not what you know um, got me a, a little foot in the door um, to recruitment um, and that really opened my eyes as well not only to to working in Australia, but again, people coming into Australia and, and trying to find a source of job and a better life. And then moving on to working in the mines as well. Again, it was a watching, uh, who you know, not watching those situation in that respect as well. So um, there's a message out there. It's good to know things and it's good to study and things like that, but knowing people really in the right places really does help as well. I was living in Campbellda at the time with my son, which is about 55 kilometres from Kalgoorlie. And there wasn't a lot of work going in Campbellda, so I started looking in town. And my first job was, probably about four weeks into being here, was um, a cleaner. And, um, you know, it was sort of like, well, it was a job, so I started cleaning and um for this company and got my first wage and thought uh, I went to see my boss actually and said that there was something wrong with my wages and um, she goes well what do you mean and I said well there's like nearly two and a half thousand dollars in my in my account and uh, you know understanding that it was fortnightly pay and she goes, no, that's right, no, no, I don't think so, there's too much money in here. And she says, no, it's definitely right. Um, I think the last time I did a job as cleaning back in New Zealand, it would have been about 25 years ago, and it definitely wasn't the same figures. And I thought, oh, I could like this, could really like this. I'm actually a detailer. Let's, they say a detailer, to me it's just a fancy word as a, for a cleaner. Um, I work night shifts. Um, my daughter and I, my eldest daughter and I, we're both currently working there. We've been there for about four months now. So it took us quite a while to find mahi, 
But um, and the carousel is the Westfield shopping mall, so it's one of the biggest here in Perth. Um, and when I mean the biggest, it's not the biggest in terms of like first, second floor. It's about 1.5 k's from one end of the mall to the other. So yeah, so that's a lot of walking. Um, so at the end of it, yeah, I better be a size eight, <laughs> not an 18. So but yeah, but. But prior to that, um, you know, I went through online and, you know, went through and got my, um, the white card, you know, things like that, which is a card that gives you permission to go onto construction sites and things like that. And I'm halfway through um, setting for my, what do you call it, barn waitressing through here. So those are just stepping stones and things for me to work forward to as well, so, mm. Okay, so my first job, I was pretty lucky enough to actually know an ex-Navy guy who actually got me a job sort of before I even come here. He had a job ready for me. He was actually working as a, what you call a trades assistant um, for an engineering company in Bazendin. So as a trade assistant, my main role was, um, firstly, was uh, keeping the shop floor clean and tidy, sweeping the floors, something which is totally different to me from the Navy. Being a warrant officer in the Navy, I told them to clean the floors, but, you know, I had to take that step backwards to, to start again, take a whole new fresh approach and, you know, to show people that uh, I was willing to give anything a go. So I was sweeping floors, um, cleaning up after everybody and then when I'd finished all that, I uh, helped the um, engineers to um, on the project, which is building um, trains, locomotives for, for the mines. Um, so that was my first role.